When it comes to collecting vintage Action Man, there's one group of, of outfits that are very, very difficult to find in good condition today. And those are the different types of Action Man frogmen or, you know, the, the scuba suit. Uh, and the reason they're very, very difficult to find in good condition today is because they're made from rubber, kind of the same rubber that's used for dishwashing gloves. Um, and over the period of 30, 40 odd years, that, that rubber deteriorates and perishes. Uh, and in my recent collection tour video, I had this to say about my Action Man SAS Frogman. The SAS underwater attack, unfortunately, that um, the Frogman's outfit has completely perished. Um, it's all stuck to the figure. I don't even really like to, to touch him these days. Um, I've bought a couple of Frogman over the years in my collection and eventually the rubber's always perished, so it's something I'll, I will never own again. Now, after an Action Man Frogman scuba suit has completely perished, it can end up looking a bit like this. Now, I will say that this is actually a, a 40th anniversary Action Man reproduction. Um, the original ones tend to dry, rot and crack and completely fall away from the figure. But for some reason, the 40th anniversary ones, uh, the rubber becomes, it, it deteriorates and parts of it become very sticky and actually apply itself to the figure. Now, I did intend for this to be a restoration video, but as it turns out, um, this is actually more along the lines of what not to do. So I started off by putting my, my Action Man SAS um, underwater attack figure um, into, the, into the sink with some hot soapy water uh, and just tried to, to scrub away the rubber that had stuck to the figure. And I wasn't having too much luck with that. I then made the huge mistake of trying to increase the water temperature and I poured boiling hot water out of a kettle uh, in, into the sink to really try and uh, you know heat up the plastic and the rubber to see if I could get it to free up. What I didn't realize was that on the Eagle Eye Action Man, the Blue Pants Dynamic Physique Action Man figures, if you pour them into boiling water, the hands just melt in, in front of you. And, uh, and I, did, I didn't realize I'd done it straight away. Once I noticed it, very, very annoyed at myself. I've just destroyed a nice pair of vintage Action Man hands. I then dunk the Action Man figure into a plastic container and filled it with simple green. Filled it with simple green and let it soak um, for quite some time, uh, well over an hour. And I came back and it sort of made no difference. And I, I've got to be honest, I got very, very frustrated with this and decided that uh, I would probably just give up on this, restoring this figure for now. Now, although the scuba suit on my Action Man uh, SAS underwater attack figure had completely perished, I was recently browsing um, the website Cotswold Collectibles. Um, I'll leave a link to their website in the, in the description below. Um, and they've started selling, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call them reproductions. Um, they've started selling um, scuba suits for Action Man and G.I. Joe, actually made of real neoprene, that, you know, the same material that they use to make real wetsuits. So I decided to pick a couple of these up and I've got them here now um, to kind of do a, a bit of a review. So I've got my Action Man Underwater Explorer here and the, uh, the SAS Underwater Attack. Now both of these, um, as I said, I had a 40th anniversary scuba suit on the SAS guy, um, which had not only perished, it's actually now sort of destroyed the figure. I, I just can't repair it. Um, and my Action Man Underwater Explorer, um, that had a, a vintage scuba suit on it that had completely dry rotted and gone brown. It just looked horrible. So I decided to get, get rid of it um, and purchase these. So Cotswold Collectibles, they've sourced these out of actually Venezuela. And, and on their website, you can buy the blue jacket for the underwater explorer. You can buy the all black suit with the, um, the scuba jacket, the pants and the hood. You can buy another black one, which has got uh, yellow stripes down the, the seams, which, which looks really, really cool. And you can also get um, the orange scuba suit. One of the things to, to note when you're first sort of getting this on, onto your figure is that um, the zip doesn't actually undo at the bottom. So you sort of undo the zip all the way down to the waist. And then I, uh, I, put, I put his legs basically through the waist, pulled the scuba jacket up over his arms and, and then zipped it up. So the, the way the neoprene naturally naturally wants to, to hang, it kind of makes, certainly on the Underwater Explorer, whose shoulder joints aren't so tight, it actually makes his arms want to stick out a little bit like this, you know, just the, um, the, the way the neoprene has, has been stitched and the arms want to stick out. But um, 
Um, I think the SAS guy looks absolutely fabulous. Because of the thickness of the material, the, the hood for the scuba suit is never going to look quite right, quite like the original. But these aren't trying to look like the original. This is, uh, you know, like a custom rep representation. And as I said in, in my video, you know, I will never ever purchase another scuba suit of any kind. I've had a few over the years and they've always perished. I've tried so many different things to keep them preserved. I do have the special team underwater assault um, in the original box and I have a box frogman. If I, if I do collect any in the future, it will only be carded or, or boxed scuba suits. But once you get these onto a figure, I think they just look tremendous and they're an, a fantastic substitute for the real rubber suits, which you just Whatever money you spend on them, you're just greatly at risk of, of, of throwing your money away. I'm now really, really pleased with both of these figures, and I'm looking forward to getting them back into my collection, into the display cases, and being proud to look at them again, rather than these dry rotted, discolored, really ugly looking sets that, um, uh, that, look, you know, that, that looked far from mint until this morning when I, when I dressed them like this. So. Um, I think this is an excellent product from Cotswold Collectibles um, and if you're looking for a substitute for an Action Man Frogman or an Underwater Explorer, the Orange Frogman, I highly recommend picking these up. These are really, really very well made. Uh, they're all hand sewn, top, top quality and I think they just look fantastic. Um, yeah, not much more to say. Um, very, very pleased to add these to my collection um, and it sort of breathed new life into some of my, what are some of my favourite figures, you know. When I was a kid, uh, no, it's not just me, I think everybody loved the Action Man Frogman and the Underwater Explorer and all those sets that, you know, that you, when you were a kid you could take in the bath with you and play in the bath or, you know, when I was lucky enough to come to Australia, even take into the swimming pool. Um, you know, so I've, I've got very, very fond memories of these types of outfits from, from Action Man. Um, I've always been a fan of them. Um, and what's really put me off collecting them over the years is, is just the fact that they completely deteriorate and you just, you just watch your money um, evaporate before your eyes and, and, these, and these, you know, these beautiful Action Man figures just end up looking, well, just, they're not displayable. Um, these are incredibly displayable. Um, I'm very, very pleased with them. I'm gonna get them back into my cabinets now um, and, and just enjoy them. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video coming pretty soon.